Hi, and welcome to our summer studio. We are testing out today the new anamorphic lens from Siri, a 35mm f1.8. And since you liked so much like last time, we will film everything by using the lens. We were very very excited about hearing of this lens after the first rumors popping around to get an official announcement. And we have received the lens to test it out and see what it can give. So the setup that we have used this time is... So the lens itself is really well done. It shares with the 50mm the same metal body. And we have just few millimeters longer and 100 grams heavier. But yet we have just a lens that weighs 700 grams. Which means that with any mirrorless camera you can easily balance on a gimbal. And compared to any other anamorphic lens, they are way way lighter. Furthermore, the lens is fully manual, that means that you have two rings, one for aperture and one for focus as well, like the 50mm, but in this case Siri is also providing two rubber rings that you can easily attach in case you may need the use of a remote focus system. Like the 50mm, this lens share an overall very good sharpness, not being too over sharp, not being too smooth. And here are some shots that we have done to test it out. Being the 35mm anamorphic lens means the minimum focal distance is a little bit too long. In this case, as for the 50mm lens, we have 85cm of minimum focal distance, which you can easily solve by adding some dioptics. And being an anamorphic lens means that you get a wider field of view, about 33%, being this lens a 1.33 squeezing lens. The 35mm functions so as a 26mm lens and not as a regular 35mm spherical lens. So this is the 35mm lens. And this is the 50mm lens. And what about the bokeh? This lens produces a prominent blue flare, typical of modern anamorphic lenses.
This, guys, was a brief review of the characteristic of this lens. In particular, we love so much the bokeh and the flare that this lens provides. Since we have already done the review of the 50mm from Siri, having now in our hands a 35mm means that our footage is way more consistent from the narrow shots to the wider one. This lens will be very soon out on the market and you should definitely give it a chance and have it in your pocket. So guys, if you liked our review, just leave a like or drop a comment down below. And this is an edit that we have done by using this lens.